Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a totally free web or mobile application builder that you can use to build apps without any coding knowledge whatsoever. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so the first question that people always ask or comments that they make is, it's not free or there must be a trial or something along those lines. So I am gonna go ahead and show you, we're gonna be using appgiver.com. And the community edition is free to use and it is a no code application development platform so you can look up other videos that i have but you can build the application totally free without any coding now if you want to host it online or upload it to apple or google play there is a fee there but it's not going to charge you for this platform to build it you just have to pay to host it wherever you want it and that's an unavoidable development fee and it's usually relatively low the builders themselves are usually what cost money, and you can test this on your personal websites and things of that nature without having to pay anything or as much, depending on how you're hosting them. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. You can head over to appgiver.com. Now, I'm not going to do a, an incredibly in-depth video just because I'm going to show you how to get some free resources. I have resources on using almost every area of this platform. So you'll see I have a sample app here, and I actually have this application that I've built on a web view, but if you want, you can actually find different ways to view it as, let's just say, uh, if we wanted to go to view page source, you can see the HTML code for most of the page, and you can open up developer tools and view it as a web app uh, on like a, a device like a phone, for example. But the idea here is we have our application, and here is actually another one that we can view. So I hosted this one at codelessfix.app, which I use to test some of my mobile and web apps. So you'll see it's a resume builder, and we can actually go and create a PDF document from our application. So I've shown you a couple of examples. Now, before we look at the builder a little bit, I wanna show you where you can get some free resources. So over at codelessfix.com, you'll see that there are quite a few different options. So I do offer paid options, but there are free options as well. So if we go to forums and classes, there are a couple of different options. The classes will show you two different classes where I have a full tutorial start to finish of making a social or sharing app. So those two are available, but we also have an AppGyver tutorials section under the video tutorials. Here I have listed out in detail pretty much every single one of these options everything from building them publishing them pretty much anything that you would need so you can just kind of search through this page and see okay what do you need to do specifically so we have crash courses check boxes how to use different functionality again all of that you just click the link and it'll take you now we have an option for custom codeless app requests but the main benefit to this website is the ability to use the app templates. So I have a free download section where you can download files to import into AppGyver with some basic functionality, but I also have some templates that you can use where you can actually purchase them for a small price or a small fee and import them into AppGyver. Basically, when you import it in, you'll be able to view the app exactly as it was built and make changes yourself. Now, if you aren't interested in downloading any of those things and you just want to learn to do all of this by yourself, then you can check out that tutorial section. But looking at this builder very quickly, it's a pretty simple interface. We have our canvas right here. So if I wanted to view a certain page, for example, if I wanted to look at the page to post a certain element. So you'll see we have some different things here. Now, to add or update these pages, it's a drag and drop style interface. So I can drag a component and drop it into this canvas or wherever I want it, and then update those component properties over here on the right hand side. And then you can also adjust the layout here. Now again, I'm not going into much detail on this just because I do have some very, very in-depth videos on almost every area of the platform. So feel free to check those out, but also let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. I'll see you all in the next video.